Thanks for checking out this video. So I don't quite know what I'm gonna call this type of video at the moment, but basically uh, I'm gonna do a few of these and this is the first one. This is basically films I've pulled out of my collection, which, you know, these, what you're seeing back here and over here are a portion of my DVD and Blu-ray collection. And I just went through and I pulled out and I made three different stacks at the moment of different types of films that I wanna to present to people watching videos on my channel and say, hey, check out these films for different reasons. And, and the first stack I'm gonna go through is, um, what, three, six, nine of them. Um, and it's films that I don't hear people talking enough about that I would highly, highly recommend. So this is a really good video for anyone to watch who's been going stir crazy and they're like, I don't know what to watch. What do I need to get my hands on to check out? So these are my recommendations from my personal collection. So, I mean, I, I have other recommendations I can make that are on streaming services and stuff like that, but I wanted to go with the physical media that I have at the moment. And like I said, this first grouping is movies that I'm just not hearing people talk about um, within, you know, horror literary stuff or, you know, in the biggest in, in social media with the horror community. Because a lot of stuff gets talked about, a lot of stuff comes up repeatedly, but these things really don't come up much. And I'm hoping I can spur some people into checking them out. Okay, so I have these ranked basically. So the first one is the the of the grouping the one i recommend the least and then the last one will be the one i recommend the most so but all i highly recommend so the first one is also a really weird one and if you've never watched it uh you have to be into kind of weird stuff and that is the film freaked now this is from the 90s i believe um i'm sure it says somewhere but Anyway, I believe from the 90s, it has Alex Winter and it has Randy Quaid in it. He's on top. It has Mr. T. It has Brooke Shields. It's got a lot of people in it. Bobcat Goldthwait, all these all these people. I mean, it's written on here. But um, it's wacky. It's weird. The practical effects are amazing in this, though. But it's one of those movies that just there's enough comedy and there's enough weirdness and wackiness. It is kind of one of those movies that's just like so bad, it's fun and good. And I highly recommend recommend checking out Freaked. I mean, it's kind of horror light in a sense. It is PG-13, so, you know. But I recommend that. I haven't really heard, like, anyone talk about Freaked. But anyway, okay, so there's Freaked. So my next one is Clay Pigeons. If you have not seen this, some, some people might not really call this horror. It's more of like a crime film, but there's enough horror elements to it, in my opinion. Now, this film stars Joaquin Phoenix... Janine Garofalo and Vince Vaughn, they all look quite young compared to, you know, how old they are now. This, I think, was another 90s film, um, rated R, and it's basically about a killer, some bodies showing up in a town, and people get involved in the suspicion. Um, obviously, Joaquin Phoenix and Vince Vaughn are great actors. They've gone on way past this film, so it's really cool not just to see the story of this film, which I think is a lot of fun and very, very interesting, and there's a really good comedic element to the film, but it's also just fun to see younger versions of Joaquin Phoenix and Vince Vaughn and Janine Garofalo. So, yeah. But anyway, Clay Pigeons, definitely recommending that one. The next one is one that I know why I probably don't hear about it much, and that's because Kevin Smith is known for doing comedy. And this film, Red State, of his is not comedy. Now, is this fully a horror film? Some people would say it is. It definitely has horror elements to it. I'd say it's probably more of a siege film. But people who are into horror also really like siege films. So this is a very interesting, very fun siege film, Red State. Um, John Goodman is in it. I mean, I love John Goodman. And if you love John Goodman, you just have to watch this film. I don't hear people talking about this. This was really well executed. The ending, I could see where people would have problems with the ending. I loved the ending because it's kind of a, well, I'm not going to spoil it. Just check it out. If you haven't seen Red State, it is intense. It is fun. Plenty of bullets being shot in this. Cause like I said, it's basically a siege film. Check out Red State. Kevin Smith did a great job with this, and I need to hear more people talking about that. Now, my next high recommend is one by Ryuhai Kitamura. Now, most people know Kitamura for his film Midnight Meat Train. That's when I heard people really starting to talk about this guy, but I knew him first from Versus. Now, if you can get your hands on Versus, which originally was put out 
when I was able to get it on the Tokyo Shock label, which I don't even know where that is now. I have a lot of Tokyo Shock DVDs in my collection. So Versus has barely any dialogue. So if you're a person who's very much adverse to subtitle films, because it does have subtitles, it's a Japanese film, there's not a lot of dialogue. So you're not going to have to read barely any uh, subtitles. It's a lot of action, and it's uh, zombies. There's zombies in it. It's like people... Fighting, like martial arts, fighting with samurai swords and other things against zombies. It is unbelievably fun. Uh, the premise of the zombies is an interesting one. And it's just, if you like martial arts, if you like fighting, good fighting films, it's it's a wild ride and it's really fun. So check out Versus. Love it. My next one is one I've heard a little bit about, but I don't hear enough. So Rubber. There's a lenticular cover on that. So this is a film that I originally checked out with a friend of mine because I was like, this sounds dumb. It's going to be terrible. And I like to watch terrible movies with this guy. We watched it all the way through, dead silence afterwards, and then turned to each other and said, um, I kind of loved that film. And that's the thing. It creeps up on you. The premise is terrible. It is a homicidal telekinetic tire. It's a terrible concept, right? Unbelievably well executed. There's a lot more at play uh, subtext-wise and thematically. It's not really... The story of what it is is the story, but under the rubber, instead of under the skin, it is so much more, and it makes a very strong comment about uh, the relationship, basically, between filmmakers and their audience. So it's very smart. It's very well executed. It's by... Uh, who did this one? Uh, do... Quentin Dupieux. I don't really know anything else he's done. I, I think I do, but I can't remember off the top of my head. Highly recommend. It sounds crazy. It sounds really weird, but Rubber is an awesome film. Check that out. The next one. I've heard a little bit about this one. I've actually... But, I'm you know, I'm, I'm really surprised I haven't heard more about this one. Um, I think maybe it's partially because it's a subtitle film. Maybe partially because it used something in the film that's been used a few times before it that if if you see it used in a film you're kind of like oh i've already been there if you see it once then it, you see it in anything else you're like uh whatever but this one's really well done this comes from the time period from france of the french extremity film which gave us alexander aja who directed this film high tension it is very brutal it is very gory it is very highly tense uh the name is very very appropriate for this there it is i was on pins and needles like the whole time i was watching this film the first time i saw it it has really good payoff in my opinion i was not expecting how um over the top and brutal and bleak this film was uh like i said french extremity it was called that for a reason now aja went on past this and has come to the united states and did a bunch of films since he uh most notably to horror fans his remake of the hills have eyes which was one of the good remakes that's been done before but if you have not seen high tension this is where alexander aja came from this is how he got started and it's amazing so check that one out now this one i have heard i see nobody talk about nobody and it's criminal in my opinion criminal that no one's talking about this uh, and it is the film Attack the Block. Now, there's a sci-fi element to it, but it's definitely horror. It's basically about a bunch of kids in the UK who live on this block, and aliens show up, and they fight the aliens. It is unbelievably fun. The creatures look outstandingly good, which is awesome, and uh, this is where John Boyega got his start. If people love Star Wars and people have liked Finn... John Boyega as Finn in the Star Wars films, you gotta check out Attack the Block because this is where John Boyega got his start and he does a great job in this. All the acting in this is really good. Also, if you like Nick Frost, Nick Frost is in this film. This is an Edgar Wright film. Is this an Edgar Wright film? No, it's not. Joe Cornish, yeah, it was Joe Cornish who directed this film. But this is a high, high, high recommend. I am I always get upset when I bring this film up to like film nerds, like horror film nerds, and they're like, what movie? We got to get this one out there more. Attack the Block, it's so much fun. You'll love it, trust me. My second to last one, 
uh, is... Now, I hear... This is uh, the second installment in a trilogy of films. And you hear a lot about the first film. And that's probably because that film is the best of the trilogy. But all of them are really good to varying degrees. And this one is almost as good, in my opinion. And that is Sympathy for Men... Yeah, Sympathy for Mr. Vengeance by Chamwick Park. This was uh this is one I got on Tartan Eight Asia Extreme. Also don't know where they are anymore, but Sympathy for Mr. Vengeance, second installment in the Revenge trilogy by Chamwick Park. This one is unbelievable. If you like the film Parasite, when I watched Parasite, I thought so much of Sympathy for Mr. Vengeance. There's a lot of uh shared tone there. There are a few things that did they do in particular, like making you really understand all the motivations of the characters and feel for all the characters involved so that when things go wrong you feel awful for pretty much everyone involved it's a bleak film it's a very interesting film it really pulls you in and i highly recommend this it's unreal so sympathy for mr vengeance just do it chamwick park is my favorite director period and then my number one, I've actually talked about this one before. I Once again, I don't hear anyone talking about it. I have a review for it on this channel, actually, and I gave it five stars. And that is Assassination Nation. Now, Assassination Nation, I know, might not be everyone's cup of tea because it really does whack people over the head with a lot of um, progressive ideas. It's not as much subtext as it is in your face, but I think that's the interesting thing about it. A lot of the times when you do films like this, it's subtext, it's under the skin, it's um, not in your face, and it's more th of a thematic thing that you have to think about a little bit more. You know, maybe something more of like a, like a midsummer where people are like, what did it really mean when they walk away from it? This one just bashes you in the face and is like, this is what it's about. But it's amazingly made. It looks beautiful. It is so well shot. Cinematography, directing, unbelievable. The acting is really good in it. Joel McHale does a great job in this. If you like Joel McHale, he's in this in a very different role. Not comedic at all. And he does an excellent, excellent job. Um, just a great story. You're probably not going to see the ending coming. And that's a good thing. And this is another one that actually feels a lot like, the, like a Siege film as well which I enjoy. It's fun. Uh, it says on here it's Mean Girls Meets the Purge. I see what they're saying with that, but it's much better than what that sounds like. Trust me. But anyway, Assassination Nation is the top one that you need to check out. But you got to check out all of these. Check all of them out. They're phenomenal films. If you can get your hands on them in any way, digital or otherwise, get them, check them out. So hopefully this has been fun. People leave me some feedback, make some comments down here, especially if you've seen some of these films. I want to talk to you about them, what your th thoughts are on them. But thanks everyone for checking this out. Do me a quick favor though, hit that subscribe if you like anything I do. That's your way to pay me back. Uh, hit that thumbs up if you're already subscribed. Just let me know you're still watching. Thank you very much though. And until next time, keep it brutal.